Hello everyone and welcome to powder mixing experiment practical part. Always clean thoroughly all equipment tools and working area before and after working. And also remember that many of these steps should be done parallel. Again, all equipment and tools should be cleaned prior to working. Use brushes to clean machines and equipment as well as sieves. And use water and liquid detergent to clean glasses like volumetric glasses and pipettes. Start with preparing 500 grams of 5% weight per weight sodium salicylate in lactose. Do the required calculations to find that 25 grams of sodium salicylate 500 times 5% should be mixed with 475 grams of lactose, 5, 500 minus 25. Start with passing all powders before weighing using 1 millimeter pore size sieve or 1.4 millimeter pore size sieve. Sieving is done to remove any lumps or aggregates. Use aluminum foil to measure weights. Never ignore cleaning the sieve before switching to sodium salicylate sieving. Again, use a brush, use a brush to do so. As you can see, sodium salicylate is being sieved and then will be weighed. 25 grams are required. Always use appropriate aluminum foil size, thin paper size, to use to weigh the required amount. Place the powders in the mixing chamber of the cube mixer. Start with placing powders of the largest quantity, in our case lactose, then sodium salicylate. This is done to avoid losing the ingredient with the smallest quantity by getting entrapped in the corners of the cube mixer. Now. Start mixing. The operating speed should be 25 RPM. After 5 minutes of mixing at 25 round per minute, turn off the mixer and withdraw 5 samples, each of 200 milligrams, 0.200 gram. 5 samples should, the five samples should be taken from five different places. Again, samples should be taken randomly 
from five different places of the powder mixture. This is what we do call random spot sampling. The weights of samples should be maintained close to each other, plus minus 10%. Then the weight of the sample should be 200 milligrams plus minus 20 milligrams or 0.2 plus minus 0.02 grams. Otherwise, you will affect the final results. Later on, in the experiment data analysis and calculations part and mixing profile plotting, we will use relative standard deviation RST or coefficient of variation as a measurement of data distribution con corrected to the mean. So, if samples weights were highly variable, then data analysis will be affected such that the variability, the measured variability via RSD value will not due, will not be due to active ingredient in our example sodium salicylate distribution, but due to the variability in, si in sample size. Again, the variability in the RSD value will not be due to mixing only, but also due to the variability in samples sizes. As you are watching, samples are being taken from five different places. We are trying to take two to three samples from the surfaces and two to three sample, samples from inside the mixture, again, from five different places. Now, return back all remnants and close the cube mixer. Then, reoperate at 25 round per minute and start timing for the other 10 minutes to be able to take the 15 minute samples. Determine the content of sodium salicylate in each sample at each time. All samples should be analyzed at each time interval in the same manner. How? Put each sample in a 100 ml volumetric flask. Add 10 to 20 ml of distilled water and mix until all powders are completely dissolved. Complete the volume using distilled water up to the 100 ml mark, then mix 
Well, measure the sample's absorbance using UV visible spectrophotometer. As you can see, we first cleaned the cuvet with distilled water, then with our blank, then we filled it with the blank, 0.2% lactose in distilled water. We place it in the correct position with the face transparent sides or faces toward the UV lamp beam. Then we adjusted the lambda to be 254 nanometer via pressing the button of set nanometer or go to wavelength. It depends on your instrument. Then we did measure the blank by again pressing the button of measure blank or zero. It depends on your instrument again. The blank should be 0.2% Weight per volume lactose in water, 200 milligrams lactose in, in up to 100 ml volumetric flask. Dissolve the lactose first with 10 to 20 ml of distilled water, then complete the volume up to the 100 ml mark using distilled water. Remember, the blank by definition is everything in the sample but the substance of interest and here in our example our samples contains our samples contain lactose sodium salicylate and were dissolved in distilled water then the blank should be and everything except sodium salicylate and this is what we are doing and you will need lambda of measurement the lambda of measurement is selected based on the substance of interest in our case sodium salicylate and here we are using the lambda of maximum absorbance of sodium salicylate which is 254 nanometer repeat the same procedure for 15 minute samples 10 minutes after the 5 minute sample as we mentioned earlier, 30 minute sample, 15 minutes after the 15 minute sample, and remember the acceptance absorbance re linear range is 0.2 to 1.2. Solutions of absorbances out of this range should be diluted with a suitable dilution factor. Meanwhile, waiting for your samples, construct the calibration curve. How? Start with preparing the stock solution. It should be prepared as 0.1 gram percent weight per volume or 100 milligram percent weight per volume sodium salicylate in distilled water. Do that by placing 100 milligrams of sodium salicylate in 100 ml volumetric flask, dissolve with a few ml of water, then complete the volume up to the 100 ml mark with distilled water, then mix well. This is the standard stock solution from which we will prepare the standard solutions. How? We withdraw separately 10 ml, 20 ml, 25 ml, and 35 ml 
using volumetric pipettes from the stock solution and place each in different 100 ml volumetric flask. Then complete the volume of each up to the 100 ml mark with wo distilled water and mix well. These will be our four standard solutions. Remember, standard solutions are solutions with known concentrations that we will measure the absorbances, their absorbances, to find a relationship between the concentration and absorbance to be applied to our samples from the mixing part. should use a dropper to complete the volumes whether during the preparation of standard solutions or your samples for the mixing profile just to remind you calibration curve construction and samples preparations should be done using analytical balance and volumetric tools the most accurate balances and tools. Remember to clean thoroughly every single tool you are using, using distilled water several times. Then, measure the standard solutions, absorbances, using distilled water as a blank and at lambda max of sodium salicylate equal to 20, 254 nanometer.
Special thanks go to Mr. Amid Tahir, the lab technician, and thank you all for watching.